strong. Hey everybody, Kleber here. Uh, we're going to go over our new uh, GIMP digital painting project. Uh, we're in new territory here, so for those students of mine that need more clarification, if you go to Schoology and uh, we look in here, you'll notice that I archived grading quarters one through three that's before COVID-19 and now it's a little bit set up differently so now we're looking for green folders so if you don't know what to do and this is like the first time you've seen something on uh, Schoology go to week 27 watch these three short videos how to download and install GIMP how to make GIMP look like Photoshop and obviously discussion board and etiquette how to properly talk you know online and if you don't if you aren't one of my students and you want to see these uh, videos on how to do this uh, how to do this stuff I will post the video link right around here so this is the netiquette video this is the video on how to download and install GIMP so uh, the link will be right here that you need to type in and then how to make GIMP look like Photoshop, which is for me, this is my basically my second time using GIMP. So I think I think I did pretty well the first time. Uh, so you need to download GIMP, and when you open it up, hopefully you can maneuver it around to get it somewhat looking like Photoshop. You can see it's kind of similar. So what we're going to do is we are going to take a picture like one of these like this and we're going to turn it into our own digital painting and you can see uh, in Schoology that I've kind of set a preview already and this is what it looks like right here so we're going to be turning a picture like that into a digital painting like that and you can see it's vastly different than what it did look like. So if I play it again, and you can see it dissolve. But this was my first attempt at using GIMP, and it turned out pretty good. It's just a unique digital painting uh, based on a picture. So the first step you need to do is you can go to Google Images and look up landscape or landscape nature or whatever. You can see uh, that's the one I use. I'm going to use something different. Now, don't it's all based on kind of challenge level so I wouldn't choose something insanely hard like this or like that or like that something easy like this or that or this or this you know don't tr try to make it too hard I mean if you want to challenge yourself by all means uh, you can like this is this looks pretty good I like this one uh, let's do this one all right so just, as long as you can get it on the screen you know, right click, save image as. Hopefully it's a JPEG. I think it will open JFIF so or PNGs or whatever. Just save it somewhere where you know where it is. I'm gonna save it onto my desktop. Right, so I don't need this anymore. Now I'm going to go to GIMP. And you can see it's right there, it looks like a little I don't even know what that is. So I'm gonna go to file open. And this is going to pop up, and I have no idea where it is. So I'm going to click on de excuse me, desktop. Oh, there it is, right there. Sunrise landscape. Okay, so I hit open. You can see the preview right there. So the first thing you need to do is uh, we get acclimated to where everything is. Hopefully you've watched the videos and you've set up your layers over here. You can see it's just like Photoshop. There's layers. You can turn the layer on and off. Uh, your options bar is no longer up there. Instead, it's right here. So whatever tool you select, that changes. So it still has the magic wand and the lasso tool and the move tool and uh, you know rectangular selection tool I'm still learning all these other tools but 
for right now. We're just doing a, a basic. So the first thing I want to do is, is I kind of want to figure out what my first layer should be. So here's how you make a layer. Because you're going to eventually delete this and you won't even need that anymore. So you're going to go up to layer, new layer, and then this is going to pop up. So we're going to call this one sky because we should always do the sky first. So sky, and yeah, blah, 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 hit OK. I think that's all good. So there's your sky. Turn this off, turn this on. So you can see, there it is, all by itself. You can still see it's highlighted. It's just like Photoshop. If you go back and forth, that's how you go, you know, between layers, just like Photoshop. So on the sky layer, notice it's highlighted. Going to choose my brush, my paintbrush tool. So there's my paintbrush tool, and you can see over here where it says tool options. Hopefully you've done that. I want you to see something opacity. Right now it's at 100%, so we'll, we will be turning this down eventually. So you, you can see you turned down to 30.5 or 100. Uh, this is your brushes right here. So if you click on that, you get all these different kinds of brushes to use. And you can kind of see what they look like. Uh, I kind of just experimented. So like whatever, that, that's acrylic. I would use, Acrylic brushes are pretty cool. I, right now I have a green, so if I go like that, you can see it's kind of jittery. It's definitely not what I want. I'll undo that, edit undo. And you can see down here, maybe I'll turn the jitter off and all that off, see what happens now. There we go, that's much more fluid. Edit undo. I still have the wrong color. Uh, let's make the brush a little bigger and maybe the force a little bit much. See what that does. I, I'm going to experiment with this because, like I said, this is my second time. So if I turn the force up, you notice that it gets, it's more, you know, that's kind of opaque. Not opaque. It's kind of, you know, see-through and it gets more opaque as I go. So, you know, experimenting with these, experimenting with the hardness. I don't even know what that does. Okay, so that, you can see the difference. So if you turn the hardness up, you get much more of a texture on the outside. So if you want it to kind of look like an impressionist painting, which is what I'm kind of going for, maybe uh, I'm going to experiment with my hardness and my spacing. Oh, not spacing. No, no, don't do that. All right, so I kept my spacing around 18, my hardness. And I'm on acrylic 4, by the way. You don't have to use this brush if you don't want to. You can use any other brush or just experiment. Because I can always, I don't even know what that is. Texture hose. I don't, okay, so I'm, I'm learning as, I, as I'm going. This is grunge. I still kind of like the, the acrylic. That's acrylic 2, so what's different between that one? Maybe not make it so hard though. There we go. All right. So I again I I experimented with all this and I kind of want to remove it all. So I'm just gonna go to select all. I'm gonna try to hit backspace on my keyboard. Okay. So that doesn't work. Like I said, we're all learning. Uh, I'll use my eraser, eraser tool. It looks like it's using the same brush. So I'm just gonna make the size way bigger. I want to erase all this. Okay, so experiments over. Select, uh, I guess all, or select none. I don't know. All right, let's try that. All right. So, first color I want to do is kind of this red. So, here's your color picker. If you click on that, this will pop up right here. And I want to get this red right there so what I'm going to need to do is there's your color picker click the eyedropper take it right to the red and you can see that's your current color right there so I don't need this anymore I'm just going to move that over move that over so you can see what I'm doing and then I'm just going to paint over that if I can why is it not working in my mind? Right. 
Why is this not working? Oh, because I'm on the eraser. Okay, so making making sure your brush is selected, not the eraser tool. I'm on the brush. I have the right color. I'm going to just basically color over all of this to right about down there. As you can see, it's I turn this off. It's got sky, and then it's got uh, foreground. So turn this back on. So you can see what I did right here. If I turn this off, turn that on. I just painted that red. I'm gonna turn that back on because you're gonna be doing that a lot. Now I'm gonna just pick a color that kind of will go down here. I think I'm gonna choose that brown. So I'm gonna click on this red. Go to my paint dropper. Okay, except this time I'm going to make a new layer. Layer, new layer. And this time I'm going to call it uh, ground. Okay, and then I'm just going to paint that right there and overlap just slightly with that. So now if I turn this one off, there's my ground, there's my sky. Sky, ground. And ground should be above sky. But I'm going to turn off ground for now. And I'm going to go back to sky. And I'm going to turn this one on. And I'm going to turn this one off. Because now I want to try to get that gradient right there. To look like that. So what I need to do is go back to my brush. It's still on. And now I'm going to turn down the opacity to probably around 30% or so. And now, did I choose a different color? Yes, I choose. I chose a different color. That, let's get that orange, okay. I'm gonna turn the sky back on. Make sure it's highlighted. And then I'm just going to turn this off again and see where I need to go. All right, so it's right about here. So I'm gonna go once like that. Maybe go over it a couple times. You can see it's got a nice painterly effect right there. And again, my opacity is only at 30, so the, if you do three passes, that means basically means it's 100%. So you can see it's a nice gradient. You can even turn the opacity down even more if you wanted to really fine tune that gradient. So I'm going to turn this off. Okay, now I got this yellow right here. So I'm going to go back to my color picker right here. Click on that little eyedropper and then get this color. Hit OK. Get my brush, turn on my sky, and you'll notice my opacity is at 13%. That's fine. I'm just going to do one little pass right here. A couple passes right here. It's still at 13%. I'm just the more I do, the lighter it gets. That's good. Let's probably get right there. So I'm going to turn this off. Turn it on, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. You can kind of see. Maybe you wanted to add like a darker red up there. That's totally fine. I want you to, it doesn't have to look exactly like it. I just want you to kind of create something because Lord knows you've been consuming uh, nonstop the past two weeks. So maybe it's it's time to produce something. You know, I, I'm a big proponent on always creating. So yeah, let's try a darker red. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna click on this red, and I'm just gonna drag it down a little bit so it's darker, hit okay. My opacity is still at 13%. I still have a really big brush. You can see my size is like 748. You might have to experiment with your size. I mean, I don't even know what kind of picture you're doing, obviously. You see as I go, one time like that, you probably didn't even notice anything, but if I go back and forth, back and forth, you'll see it get a little darker. And you can even go darker if you want, so I think I will. Go a little bit darker. Okay. And then just like that. Okay, so let's see what this looks like. Okay, good. 
So there's my sky. Here's my ground. So now, turn the sky off, turn that off. And now I need to figure out how to do this sun. So I'm going to make a new layer, layer, new layer. Call this one, type in sun. Maybe even give it a color tag of yellow. If I can. Hit OK. Okay, so then you know that's our sun. Alright, I've never tried this, so I, I, I'm doing this on the fly. Okay, good. That's what I thought. Alright, if you go up here to your tools and you the ellipse select, that's what we need, ellipse select. And it's just like the selection tools in Photoshop. I'm just going to click and drag. And it doesn't matter where it is because you can always move it because it's a layer. So there's my selection. Now I'm going to go back to the brush tool. And I'm on the sun. It's highlighted good. I'm going to choose this color. It's really dark right now. So we go over to the paint dropper. Put that right over the sun. Hit OK. And then hopefully just color that in. Obviously the opacity is all the way down so you might need to push your opacity up to 100% if you want it to be you know nice and opaque like that okay so select none select none all right there we go now we can move it so this is the move tool and we can move it right where we kind of want it right there Thing. So, so far this is what we have. So I'm going to turn this one off, turn that one off, turn that one off. Now if you want to do these couple little clouds like that, I would probably wait till the end. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make our mountain layers. And you might, eat, maybe it's not mountains, maybe it's something else for you, maybe it's trees or whatever, but you kind of get the idea for the sky and if you have a sun, you have the sky, you have the foreground. Most landscapes have that, so now we're just gonna kind of nitpick the details. So I'm gonna turn off the sun, turn off the ground, uh, turn off the sky, and I'm gonna leave the original on, still on. And get a layer, new layer, and I'm gonna call this mountains. Give it a purple one to indicate, you know, color tag is purple, so hit OK. So here we have the mountains. Now, here's where you're going to need to use the free select. This is similar to the polygonal lasso tool and the lasso tool kind of combined. If you click once and then you go down, it's just like the polygonal lasso tool. Uh, you just click, 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 click. So I'm basically tracing with my selection tool these mountains. Don't worry about that one as of right now. I'm just going to go over to this one like so. Bing, bang, boom. Bingo, bongo. All right. Make sure you give it nice and slow. Don't double click too fast. Like I said, I've never really used GIMP before. So when I get down here, I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to shoot past it a little bit, cut into this green. I'm going to click right here, go straight across over here. I'm going outside the canvas. Click. And then I go up to the yellow to connect it. It's all connected. So now we're going to get our brush tool. I'm going to choose my color. Go over here to the eyedropper. I'm going to hold it over you know, one of the purples that I like. Like that. Hit OK. And then basically brush over that. That was easy. Now, if you want to do those details, like the little... That's going to take some extra work, and I will show you how to do that. I'm going to turn it back on. Oops, right here. There we go. Click on that eyeball. And now I'm going to click it off, and I'm going to see what kind of color that is right there. So I'm going to go back to the purple, back to the paint dropper, and I'm going to 
click on that color. Okay. Turn the mountains back on. Now I'm going to turn the opacity down to like 40, 35, 40%. And I'm just going to go over it like that. Just very lightly like that. Turn it off, turn it on, turn it off, turn it off. Okay, so you can see I got, I'm trying to do all those little things up there. So I'm going to turn it back on. And now I'm going to experiment with another kind of harder brush maybe. Uh, that's acrylic one. Let's see what else they got here. Bear with me, I might have to edit all this. What is that? It's grunge. No, I don't want grunge. Uh, I want some kind of... There we go. How about a block? Yeah, that'll work. Alright, so I'm going to choose block. You, I kind of have to experiment. Maybe you don't have all this detail that I do, but I'm just going to show you how to do you know, kind of detail. I kind of like the second brush here, block two. If you uh, see how it works, it's got a little, I guess it's kind of a uh, ellipse brush. I'm going to turn down the opacity even more. You can use those too, I guess. Maybe turn down the hardness a little bit and the force. Alright, so I need this color kind of right here. So I'm going to click on my color, go over here. That's a nice orange. Turn back my mountain. Just kind of like, you know, using these short kind of brush strokes like that. You can see where they kind of... Now I have the opacity set where it is at 30%. Uh, so the more I do, the, the lighter it gets. So you get that kind of gradient effect. That's why I'm doing all these kind of small brush strokes. I mean, it's not going to look dead on it. I, I want it to look a little different. Right, so back on. Let's make sure it's on when you paint, though, you know, for obvious reasons. You can see I'm kind of making it my own. Turn that off, turn that on, turn that off, turn that on. Maybe make it a little smaller to get this kind of line. Maybe turn the softness down because that's way too hard. I kind of want it to be a little softer. Turn that off. I'm going to do the other side where I see. Constantly turning it off and on to see where I need to go with my brush strokes. And again, make sure you experiment with these, you know, get them to kind of where you like it. I, I experiment with the size and the hardness and all that good stuff, and we'll use the jitter in those later, uh, especially for grass. Off. You can see there's kind of lighter colors in there too, so I'm going to go back to this color and maybe make it a little lighter and then go back and kind of, you know, make it not so it's all the same color. It's lighter. It's got more, you know, variety, I guess. That way it's not all the same color, you know, I want you to experiment. And notice the selection's still on because if you take the selection off, it's going to be really hard to get it back. All right, so maybe I'm going to turn this off. Maybe I want to go a little darker in certain spots too because you can see like right over here and right over there, it's, it's a little darker. So I'm going to go back to my color, pick on that, and then... Alright, so that's my color, and I'm going to make it purposefully just a little bit darker, because I have the opacity set at 30%, so maybe turn it up to like 40 or 50. And like I said, your picture might be completely different. It's just going to be you uh, kind of experimenting on brush size. You have all week to do this, or 
two weeks, so it's, it's not like a big deal. I just want you to, you know, kind of create something. This is kind of cool, a digital painting. Oh, notice I was trying to color something, but nothing was happening. It's because my mountains aren't on. So my mountains are on. See, so I've selected. Now I'm going to kind of notice it's a, a soft brush. And I'm just going to, you know, where it makes sense is it's going to be darker towards the bottom. This is turning out pretty good. Uh, all right, so there's the ground, there's the mountains, and there's the sun. So that's what we have so far. If I was to turn off all this, oh, uh, sorry, let's turn off all this. This is what we have so far. So this is all ours. I think the mountains look pretty good for right now. So I'm gonna turn them off. I'm gonna turn the ground off and the sun. And I you can still see my selection right there. So anytime you want to get rid of a selection, go to select none. Gets rid of it. Sun, sky, ground. What else do we need? We need. I am all turned off except the original. So I think we're gonna do this. This kind of area right in here, this middle foreground. So I'm gonna make a new layer, layer, new layer call this uh, middle ground and like I said you might have a totally different setup than me so it might be you know a, a beach or something else you just kind of have to you know problem solve about how to how to set these up because usually you want you know sky to be the very bottom you know sky and sun probably next you know clouds if there's any clouds and you're basically working your way from the background all the way to the foreground so that's why the ground should be all the way up there so I got the middle ground and that's this kind of spot right here so if I was to turn this off or I'm sorry turn all these on I'm kind of doing it right there so I kind of want to get rid of that line and that's why it's important that the middle ground is above the mountains so I'm going to turn off the mountains and the sun and the sky so I can see in the ground so I can see that I'm going to go back to my free select and I'm going to click once out, out here and I'm going to click above the mountains so I know the mountains are right about here that straight line all the way across So click, I clicked once, and then I'm going to make this one kind of rounded because I don't want it to be so, you know, straight. So otherwise, I'm trying to follow that path right there. Forget about the, the hill in the middle for right now. Got this right here. And then I'm going to go down here and do this part right here. notice I'm not being perfect I'm just kind of you know uh, just playing it by ear and then I go back up to the original spot and you'll see it, it turns yellow and you just click on it and it makes that nice selection for you so if I was to make a color for this it would probably be this this green right here so I'm going to go back here go to my color picker and I'll click on this green okay Go back to my brush. I'm gonna stick with this second brush, this block two. Maybe make it a little bit bigger and make the opacity. I'm gonna make it near 100. Again, you might have to make your opacity 100 or you know 20%. It's totally up to you. So I'm gonna go about 80%. And I'm just gonna kind of go green where it's green looks like it's just pretty much green all the way throughout here you can see I'm just going right up to right about there now if I was to turn off of this this is what I have so far so you can see if you have any you know gray white checkerboard always means transparent so I'm gonna turn this back on all right good 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 
Now I'm going to try to put in this, uh, I guess this water. Uh, so I'm going to click on the green, go here, paint dropper, drop it over that, hit OK. Uh, go back to the brush. I'm going to make this opacity 100% and make this size a little smaller. And then I'm going to basically just kind of put this in right there. Don't worry about going over the green. I'm not even going to see this part right over here. My brush smaller so I can get this spot over here. I'll turn this off, see what that looks like. Okay, good. Turn that back on. Now I need to get these darker green spots, and this is kind of where you need to experiment with the brushes because if it's kind of like bushes and trees like that, you kind of want to find the right brush. So I'm gonna just, I don't even know what half of these are. That's a chalk brush, charcoal, charcoal, what's that? Pepper, I have no idea what to find. Vegetation, oh, okay, we'll try a vegetation brush. Okay, so I'm gonna click on this blue, go over here, I'm gonna try to get this dark green. And that's a decent brush size. Uh, I want the opacity to be 100. I'm going to maybe turn down the hardness a little bit to like 80. And then I'm just going to see what happens. Oh, you know what? I think I want to undo the selection now. So select none. And that way I can go a little higher if I need to. So I get pushing a couple times. Click, 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 click. You can see it kind of populate. Click, 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 click. And a click, 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 click right there. Make, make the brush smaller. You can see I'm trying to line it up with those. I'm clicking a lot to get that kind of vegetation. Keep clicking, click, 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 click. Don't worry if it's all kind of flat looking because it's pretty much all the same color. There. All that. I'm trying to kind of make that look like it goes there. All right, so let's see what that looks like when I turn that off. Okay, so you can see the spots I'm missing. That's why it's good to. Uh, turn this on and off you can see the little green spots that I missed and you can see the transparency over here now to make it look better I mean that's all the same green turn off the middle ground you can see there's other like lighter greens in there so I'm going to go to the color paint dropper and I'm going to click on this lighter color Turn on the middle ground and make my brush way smaller. And basically, oh, I don't like that. Edit undo. Um, I still have the vegetation brush. Maybe make it a little bigger. Maybe, maybe that was a problem. Right, yeah, so that's good. I'm just doing a little, just a touch, just a touch. Happy little trees, as Bob Ross would say. Oh, I missed one right there. You guys see that? It's fine. I'll get to there. Uh, let's look at the other side. It's a little bit, maybe. It's a little smaller. You know, just, I'm just basically skating on, you know, where it makes sense. It would be on, you know, the sun's shining here, so it's going to be brighter there. Maybe I'll even get a, if I turn this off, a different color. She's back to that dark green. There. Maybe go a little bit darker. If I turn this off, okay, it's right there. So I'm going to make my brush way bigger. Again, I 
constantly turn that on and off, on and off to see where I need to go. So the more you push, the darker it gets. You can see that it's already starting to work. All right, so let's turn that off right here, see what that looks like. Turn that off. Still got a lot of detail to do in there. So I'm gonna turn that off. Click on that. I want this kind of lighter color right there. Turn that back on. Make this brush smaller. And kind of work on the outside so it doesn't look so fake. And then maybe get a lighter, that lighter color again. So you'll see that I'm constantly like going back and forth. I don't like it's too opaque. Uh, edit undo. So I'm going to turn down the opacity greatly. It's all about you experimenting with the brush. You know, opacity is a big one. Don't always leave it at 100. You know, you get those nice kind of fading effects when you. Uh, you turn down the opacity, so don't forget to do that. In fact, I'm, I'm going to go even darker on some of this stuff. I'm, I'm going to try to make it look better in the picture, which is impossible, but we'll try. So get that green. Maybe go a little darker. Okay. Opacity is still pretty low. I got a good brush. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. So you can see it's, it's now darker. Because the more I go over it, the darker it gets because I have the opacity set where it is. Put, you know, a little bit down there towards the bottom of the vegetation because that's where it's going to be the darkest with the shadows. Now if I turn this off right here, you can see, oh, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, looks nice. So I'm going to go back here. This kind of looks still kind of flat. You know, it's still all the same color green, so maybe I will... Uh, Make it a little bit lighter. I'm not going to do all that, I don't think. So that's that's too much. So I'm gonna, just going to, you know, make it up. Like I said, you can pick and choose what you want to do. So I'm turn that back on, and then maybe oh, edit undo. I don't want that. I want to go back to my block two brush. Make that bigger, turn the opacity down really severely, like 25%. Make my brush even bigger, so, yeah, like that. All right. So I'm just kind of skating it like that. Nope, I don't like that one. Edit and do. Okay, so let's see what that looks like if I turn this off. So, yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, it doesn't look so flat. And I can still, you know, add more of this to you know, kind of work on that edge so it doesn't end all of a sudden. It's got the, you know, see, it's it, where I drew the, the selection line. It's kind of faded out now. Make sure I get over here. And my opacity is set really low, so that's why I'm able to kind of get this kind of nice dissolve. So let's turn them all on and see what we got. You can see the ground now covers up the middle ground. So what I'm going to do is move the middle ground above the ground. And then you can see where I still, the mountains are still there. So what's what's really happening with that? Maybe I'll move the ground back down to where it was, middle ground, and go back up to the ground layer and now get my eraser, which is right there. Choose a brush that you can control well. So I would say block two works well. And I'm going to so I selected that 
make my brush a little bigger and now I'm just gonna lightly erase right in there until I can see okay good All right. so turn off turn off turn off turn off got the sky right there So what is happening between the sun? Something happens. I still need to fix this kind of part right there. So I'm trying to figure out on the sky what that is. I think it's the sky layer. So if I get the sky layer and erase this part, oh, yep, there's nothing there. So edit undo. Like I said, I'm still learning this this uh, software too. So if I turn that on, what is right in between there? Looks like another row of mountains. If I turn the mountains on, I got that. I got the middle ground. So basically, I'm missing this this inside part. So I'm gonna turn off that. Turn off that. I'm going to now try to get that gap fixed. This is that gap right here. See that orange, and this, you can still see the sun. And I guess right from there to there. So I'm gonna make a new layer, layer, new layer. I'm gonna call this uh, the lower mountains, basically. It's got a lot of lower mountains that will be above the sun and above the mountains because it goes from going from back to forward. It's sky, sun, mountains, lower mountains, middle ground, ground. Okay, good. So I'm gonna turn off mountains, the sun, the sky, um, and the ground. I'm gonna leave the middle ground on because I wanna see where exactly I need to go in the lower mountains. I'm gonna get my selection tool. Click, click, go way over here. I'm still getting all those. Overlap this mountain a little bit. Click, click, click. Click, click, click. A little higher than I intended to. Maybe I'll go ahead and just do this little mountain right here. Beep. beep. Okay, so I'm getting all that. And then I go back down here. It's yellow. I love this. I wish they had this in Photoshop. So I click on it. Creates that selection. So now I'm going to go to my brush tool. Paint. Uh, paint dropper. Hold on. There it is. Paint. Need that color. Oops. Color. Oh, my opacity is down to 25. So <laughs> always be aware of your opacity. So I'm going to turn that all the way up to 100. All right, just brush that in. Let's see, that's what it looks like. So turn this off. I think I'm going to leave that the way it is. I kind of like that, the, the way that looks. Except I'm going to hit, uh, except I'm going to fade it out into this green a little better so I'm gonna go to select none turn off that and you can see right there I want to fade that see that line right there so get my brush maybe get a darker color cuz I think that'll look nice uh, brown just slightly darker turn the opacity down cuz I don't I'm basically feathering this it's brush size way too big Alright, so you can see I'm basically trying to create a little bit of value and depth in there. And you can see that the middle ground is above 
the lower mountain so that's why as much as I try to blend that I can't because I need to go to the middle ground to do that so I'm just gonna basically skate the bottom of these mountains with this dark color get that nice gradient going So now I'm going to go back up to middle ground because that's where I see that, that green's not really blending. And I'm going to choose that green. So paint right there. Okay. Opacity, yes. I'm going to turn the opacity down. I'm just going to very lightly. You can see it's going over it now. I'm just trying to get rid of that, that line right there. Okay, so now when I turn on everything, let's see what that looks like. Still get a little bit right there and right there that I missed. So what I need to do is I'm gonna go up to the lower mountains. No, the mountains. I'm gonna go to the mountains because the mountain layer is behind the lower mountains. And I'm going to choose a kind of a dark purple maybe. Now don't worry if you mess up a bunch of times. You can always start over. I'm not grading these really hard. I just want you guys to be able to, you know, create stuff. I need to turn the opacity up. It's always good to learn new, new stuff. Alright, that's way too dark compared to, you know, what that is over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn down the opacity severely after I fill in the spots and then go over it to kind of blend it in. You guys can see it's blending in. It's not so severe now. Alright, we still have like this little spot right there. So I need to go to the middle ground to fix that and get a like that. Okay, I'm on the middle ground. Oh, my opacity's not. Well, my opacity's in 100. No, my opacity's not at 100%. There you go. That's how you get it to look like that. I'm going to try to connect those, so... It's got some kind of you know delineation between the levels. Now I'm going to turn the opacity down because it still stands out a lot. It doesn't blend very well. Turn down even more. So it blends in with this kind of mountain right there. There we go. So so far we have all that. That's what we have so far. We still need to do all this down here. So, so far so good. I'm going to turn this back on. Turn these off. So what I need to do now is maybe uh, this path right here. And again, if you don't want to do the path, you don't have to do the path. You can do something else. I, maybe I won't even do the path now that I think about it because I didn't really put it right there. So I'm not... I'll do the path, but I won't do that one. So I'm going to make a new layer, layer, new layer. And I'm going to call this one path. Get brown so I know it's path. And use this tool. Click. And if you hold down your mouse, you can do the kind of you know more organic selection but if you let go of the mouse it goes back to this uh, really polygonal lasso tool type so I double click to connect it you can see the selection now I'll use probably just a green brush so go right here get a Now it's time to experiment with more uh, brushes. So I'm just going to go through these. This is you know, another vegetation brush. 
So let's see what this looks like. Oh wait, uh, I'm on the pack. I gotta turn up the opacity. Anytime you you color something, and nothing shows up. It's probably be because the opacity is down. So I'm gonna turn that all the way up to 100. see it's nice to have that selection because my brush is bigger than this part I need to color but I, I can use the selection to my advantage Now I need to get that brown in right there. So what I'm going to do is make a new layer while this is still selected. Layer, new layer. We're going to call this one path ground. And I'm going to get this color right here. Paint dropper. Basically, gonna use my other brush. That was vegetation one. Where is that? At? Okay, let's remember that one. Go back up here to block two. Turn the opacity up. Turn the size up. And I'm just just going to color over all this. You're probably thinking, what did you just do? You just colored over your your green path. No, I didn't. That's fine. I'm gonna turn this off. Still like other flecks of purple and lighter colors in there, so uh, I'm gonna try to put those in. So I'm gonna get a yellow, that yellow right there. See it's where it is, okay. And I'll turn down the opacity. Back to the path ground, kind of figure out, okay, it's kind of lighter. Maybe make the brush some more. And here is where you can use the jitter tool. I'm going to apply jitter and you maybe make it even lighter. So I'm going to get like an even lighter color. Hit OK. And if you click and drag, see how it does that kind of stuff? Let's turn down the opacity though and maybe make the size a little bit smaller. See, so see that's a nice effect right there. The jitter can work. Uh, wonders for you if, you if you learn it right now I'm gonna try to get a that purple that I saw I'm just gonna choose that purple right there I turn this off all right so it's purple like right down there or right along there opacity still really low but if you go over it more and more it gets darker see like that All right, so we still had that vegetation, but it's underneath the path. So I'm going to take this layer and move it underneath the path, and then you can see, oh, that's why I did that. So now I'm going to go back up to the path and turn off the path, turn off the path ground. You see there's like other little bits of yellow in there. So I'm on the path layer. Always remember what layer you're on. Click right here. Choose a lighter green. And this is where the jitter comes in. And you, again, you can experiment with that. I'm just going to click and drag, and you can kind of see it does that little. Oh, it's so nice to do that and be able to do that. Make the brush smaller, though, because it's overpowering what I already laid down. Let's so maybe go a little lighter with a little bit more yellow. So just do a little bit. So this is, uh, is it almost exactly like painting. You just kind of, you know, play with the colors a little bit. 
now that I have it, you know, pretty much where I want it, I, I kind of want to get rid of this selection. So I'm going to go select none. And see that hard edge now? I don't like that. So I'm just going to take this green, kind of go over it a couple times like that so it gets rid of that hard line. Let me do it over here too. Go down that line like that. And if you want to go darker, obviously you can. I think I will go darker. Jesus green. It's because the opacity's still still pretty low. There we go. That looks better. And if you want to see what it looks like, obviously you can turn off all these and then turn these on. This is what I have so far. I need to put the ground underneath the, both paths like that. All right, good. So the next step, if I turn again, you might have to rearrange your layers so they make sense. I'm gonna turn all these off. Turn that on. Now I'm gonna you know, try to do this part and then that part, and I think I should be done. So. Uh, make a layer, new layer, we'll call this wheat, and I'll use this selection tool for this as well, except this time I'm going to hold down the mouse button to make it a little bit more organic and not so precise. I'm going to get the darker color first. So I'll go back to the color. Paint drop. So i this color right here. Right. Good. Brush. Good. I think I'll keep the block on. Maybe make it a little bigger. Turn up the opacity a little bit. The brush is still too small. And you see I still have the jitter on it. It adds that nice kind of effect like that. I think I need a, a yellower, a yellower color. So let me get my colors again in dropper. So I'm, gonna, I'm just basically going to go over all of it with this yellow and then use that darker brown to kind of blend it in a little bit. Definitely turn down the opacity even more so it's not so, uh, so you can you know, have more control over your shading ability. So it looks like there's all kinds of, you know, darker browns over there too. This is why I wish I had the burn tool. I don't, I don't even know if they have the burn tool in here. I haven't even looked. So if they do, it's great. But right now we're just going to be painting. So I'm going to go a little bit darker. Hit OK. Try to get, you know, the spot over here. Now I need to get a brush that really looks like vegetation. And I don't know where they are. Uh, let's see what this does. No, 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 I don't feel like that. I'm trying to get a brush that resembles uh, grass or something. There's got to be one in here. I don't even know what that is. Those are just lines. Okay, how did I do? Grunge now. Flats. 
Yeah, we'll try. I don't know if I like splats either. Pixel. No, I don't want pixel. Smoke. Pencil. Oh, grass. Huh. Do have grass, but I don't see. It doesn't look like grass. So I'm gonna go a little bit darker. Turn up the opacity just a little bit. Basically, just experimenting with this, people. little bit lighter. Go to this color right here. And make my brush a little smaller. Ooh, turn the hardness down. That's what it is. There we go. Yeah, always be aware of your hardness as well. Because I didn't even realize it was at a hundred percent all right so let's see what these look like now okay I guess the last step is right over here so uh, turn that on so turn all these off This area right over here so select none go to layer new layer and now I'm gonna put like uh, grass left that green. And now I'm going to use the selection tool again and hold down my mouse button I can do all this right here Connect. There's your selection. Grass should probably be at the very, very top because it's one of the first layers that we should see. So I'm going to go to the brush tool and get my color. I want just kind of like this green right here. I think I'm going to stick with the grass brush. I might turn up the opacity though to 100 because I just want to get a color in there. I still have the jitter on. And you can see what this looks like if you turn this off. So I have all that so far. Turn that off. So I want to get a darker, a kind of darker color there. So I'm going to click on the screen. Paintbrush. Click on that dark purple. Hit OK. And then I'm going to. Oops, got to turn that on. Still have the jitter on, and you can see the opacities at 100, which is fine because the jitter kind of helps with that. I'm just, you know, kind of skating around this this bottom part while it's selected. All right, turn that off. It still needs to be a little darker over here. Good, good, good. I need to go a little bit lighter up there. And you can still see it's kind of see-through, so I definitely need to address that and fix that. So I'm going to go back to my brush. Click on that. Get these lighter colors going. And then... You obviously mess with the brush sizes. Maybe even go even lighter. Okay, so let's see what that looks like. Looks pretty good. Select none. Now I'm going to turn all of them on except 
the background. Now, I don't like really the way this hard edge looks. So I'm going to try to fix that with uh, making sure nothing's selected. I'm on the grass left layer. And I'm going to get my brush. I'm going to get it probably a dark brush. So whatever that color is. Make my brush even smaller. And just kind of go around this edge like this. So it's not so... Blech. It looks kind of like really hard pixel lines. And if you have anything you need to fix, it'd be your top layer that you want to fix it at. Say you don't like the way this this blends in right there. You, know, you can always figure out, okay, I don't like the wheat, the wheat one, but you know, maybe I go to the wheat layer and kind of add a lighter color to there. So it'd be this one. Then. Maybe turn the jitter off. There you go. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Uh, if you're kind of happy with it, I still see some transparency right there. So maybe I need to, you know, go back to the greens. And you know, you kind of have to look for that kind of stuff. transparency parts are I'm on the wheat that's why it's not showing up right there we go oh edit undo turn the jitter back on but like I said it I'm still learning too so it's all about experimenting you know getting it to where you like it if you mess up don't worry because it's this is just you know kind of for fun and I mean I would like to grade it but um I'm more concerned with you guys, you know, creating something at this at this point. So I had a little I don't know if I like that, so maybe I'll make that a little darker. There we go, cover that up. Now if you want you can sign your name somehow. I don't know how to type in here. Okay, maybe it's this tool right here. So make sure nothing's selected. Sorry, it's nothing selected. I'm going to click on the A and uh, just click. And I don't know what I want. Um, so I'm just going to type. Oh, it does work. All right. I wonder if we can do something like that. I have no idea what I'm doing, to be honest with you. So I'm going to try to underline no. Italic, yes. Oops, I didn't get them all. There we go. Hopefully you learned something, but you're not even close to being done yet because you still have to, if you wanted to add clouds, you could add clouds, but, but this video is going on long enough. It's over an hour already, so... Here's how you save it. Uh, first, you don't need this layer, so do not turn this layer on. I mean, even if you do, nothing's going to happen, hopefully, that you covered all the spots. So you can actually delete it, so right click. And I guess I don't even know how to delete. Delete layer, there it is. So there it is. So file, save as. It's going to save it as an XCF file. We don't want to do that, so hit cancel. We want to go to File, and we want to... I want to say it's Export. I don't know where that is, though. Oh, Export As. There it is. Export As. And this is going to pop up. In the name, type in your name, digital sure that says JPEG if it doesn't you gotta go down here select file type and scroll down to JPEG and then make sure that's selected you can see it up there save somewhere where you know where it is so you might have to go up here and make sure it's not saving in some weird folder so 
Make sure you know where it's saved, so you might have to click on this to make sure, you know, where is it getting saved to. So I like the desktop. Claver Digital Paint, JPEG, blah, blah, blah. Hit export. This is going to pop up. You can crank that up to 100 if you want. It's not necessary. You're going to have to click export again. All right, so it should be right here. Now, if you submit these and you want to get a grade, it would be really helpful if you submit both of them what you looked off of and what you finished. So you can do that in Schoology when you go to uh, submission. So we'll just pretend I'm going to a different, uh, it'll be available in the uh, this folder. I just haven't made it yet, the submission assignment, but it'll be there. But, you know, you act like you're going to, you know, another project where you had to submit something, you know, submission link over here, add submission. You're going to do that twice. So you're going to submit. The first picture will be the picture you looked off of. The second picture will be uh, what, it, what it ended up looking like. So for mine, if I go to my Google Photos. This was this was the picture and this was the digital painting. So you're going to submit both of those into Schoology. Or if you want to, you can I don't know if we can even submit it into uh, the Google Classroom. I don't, I don't know, but maybe you can add it on here comment like, anyway just I just want you to put you know do something so hopefully you learned something about digital paint and obviously